Back to the vlog welcome to very fun work week i don't know if this will actually be a full week i might just do monday to wednesday for this vlog but welcome back to work to live diaries this is actually the very last work week of 2023 for me i've been waiting all year for these last two weeks off of my nine to five job if you guys are new to work to live diaries this is actually a series that i created in 2023 to show you guys a little bit more about work-life balance having a nine to five job trying to incorporate a little bit more of a work to live mindset even if you're working like 40 plus hours a week so welcome back to the vlog this is very bittersweet it's monday morning right now it's 8 50 i actually have to sign on to work soon but i just had myself a very slow morning because i'm going on a run after work today finished up my youtube video for tomorrow got it all prepared just made myself a coffee i usually wait to have coffee until i actually start my work day just because it's like a good signal to start the work day thomas my boyfriend is across the table he just gave me this bread welcome back to the vlog welcome to work to live diaries let me show you guys how i'm incorporating work-life balance in this video just as i do in every single work to live diaries videos and in this video i really want to talk to you guys just in general about how i feel like having a work to live mindset has changed my whole entire outlook on my career my overall just mental well-being in 2023 and i feel like it's brought me to a really good place just in my career and having a nine to five job at all. So I'll talk about that a little bit more in this video, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's start our work day. meeting of the day <clears throat> i was sick last week and i feel like i'm still recovering my voice but one more meeting of the day it was actually nice that i got a lot of editing done this morning because i'm going to clarendon run club after work that's going to take up like a good hour and a half probably of my evening and so i really wanted to get a good chunk of editing done in the morning because i have found that just like a good sweet spot for me is dedicating time before work and after work to something whether it's health and fitness or editing like one of the two usually if i can just like be mindful of that time as long as i've gotten enough sleep then i'm usually feeling pretty good about balancing everything but i just opened a kombucha because i really want a snack but i already had my yogurt and i feel like i'm just bored in anticipation anticipation of my next meeting so got my snack and then we'll finish up the day <clears throat> go on a run that's a pretty good monday to me That was my first like hard run since I've gotten sick and it was very hard. My chest is on fire, but at least it's over. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I finally got myself ready for work, just a little bit more than usual. Three things that can go a long way in your work from home routine if you're like me and you don't really like putting on makeup. One brow gel, two, tinted lip balm, and three, some jewelry. I got this package in the mail this morning and before work, I was like, this is perfect timing. I wanna give a big thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I'm wearing my new ring and my new earrings as my work from home outfit today to just like give a little more extra accessorizing. I feel like accessories are the best way for me to feel put together when I'm working from home because I don't really like to wear makeup. And I've been looking for earrings exactly like these. Anna Luisa has the perfect ones because they're like that chunky wide hoop at the end, but the back backs of the hoops actually clip on instead of having a back. That's just my personal preference. They're so cute. They stay on so well. And I just feel like they add the perfect touch to make you look a little bit more put together when you're working from home. I have another pair of rope earrings that kind of matches my new ring. Oh my God, isn't my new ring so pretty? I love the twist design, especially on my index finger. I just feel like it looks so elegant. And it's one of those statement rings where I just really need to wear one and I feel like it goes a really long way. I feel like I don't have a statement ring that goes on my index finger and I just feel like I love the look of it, especially 
with my new earrings too. I feel so much more put together when I'm working from home now. I feel like I just feel a lot more ready for the day without sacrificing like the effort of putting on actual makeup. Having a good pair of chunky hoops and some good rings goes a really long way. And Elisa's designs I feel like are the perfect mix of trendy and timeless. With designs starting at just $39, I feel like Anna Luisa just makes the perfect gift. So I'm actually gonna gift the other things that I got in this order, these earrings, these really cute checkery hoop earrings and the mini version of the hoops that I'm wearing today. I'm gonna give these both to my sister as like a holiday gift to her because I'm also seeing her later on today. But if you guys are interested in getting Anna Luisa as gifts to someone that you can't see in person, Anna Luisa also ships anywhere in the US because they're actually based in New York. And in addition to free shipping, Anna Luisa also has free exchanges if you don't like what your original order was or if the gift that you got is something that your friend or family member wants to exchange that's really easy to do on Anna Luisa too. Products are just so high quality. They're tarnish free. They're long lasting. I can wear them in the humidity. I can wear them in the pool. I can wear them when I'm working out. And I feel like that just goes to show how high quality all of the pieces are. So if you guys are interested in checking out any of the pieces from Anna Luisa, including my earrings and my ring, then you can click the link in the description box. Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I literally feel like I wear Anna Luisa every single day. And fun fact, they're actually the very first brand that I ever worked with on my channel. Now that I'm all ready for my work day, let's go ahead and get started. And I think I actually have a lot of meetings today until the afternoon. So I'll talk to you guys a little later. I actually did not mention this this morning or in the beginning of the week, but I'm actually going home today for the rest of today. It's like midday right now. I have, I just ended up not taking a lunch break so that I could take my lunch break to drive home because it's around an hour away, like a little bit less. My mom and dad are actually traveling starting from Thursday, I think. And my mom wanted Justine and I to come home for even just a day, which is genuinely such a luxury and like a privilege that I can live that close to home where I can just like stop by. And Thomas actually has to be out all day tomorrow, like from eight to five. So Beast and I are gonna go see his grandma and we're gonna go to the big vacation house. Like I've been telling him, do you wanna go in the car? Like, do you wanna see Hymeni? Which means grandma in Korean. And now he's like barking because he really wants to go. So you're gonna be so happy, right? Yeah, he's so excited. But because of that, I like front loaded all of my meetings to be in like in the early half of the day. So I was literally in meetings from like 10 until 1.30. It's two o'clock right now. I'm just finishing up packing and we are going to head over to Maryland. These earrings are so pretty. Like they're the type of earrings that are big enough that you can see them on a Zoom call. So you just look a little bit more put together, but they're small enough that if I put on my headphones, like they don't like get in the way. It's like the perfect chunky everyday hoop. <laughs> Let's head home. So how happy he is. Okay, I know. How are you so excited? Go ahead. Who's that? Hello. Who's that? Hi, Hi, were you waiting for me? Do you want to go down? Let's go downstairs. Stay, stay, stay. Thank you. Cash is waiting. Go play. Let's go. Goodness. Hello, Justine. Hello. I was telling them how when mom asked us to come home in the middle of the week, we will come home. Food and also like just to see her. And the <laughs> boys are so happy. They love each other. Where'd you go? She, she wants to make a grand entrance. I'm just kidding. <laughs> mom is back from Hi. Korea. Hi. <laughs> Are you happy to be back in the States? I'm so happy to be back. You know, everyone missed you on YouTube. Oh, I miss everyone. <laughs> I miss you already. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys. Happy Wednesday. It's so weird that it's Wednesday because I'm at my house. I'm sorry I did not talk to you guys that much yesterday at all, but I just feel like I had to enjoy being home and it was really, really nice. I finished up my work day. When I got to the house, I really only had like two and a half hours or so of work left because I just took my lunch break to drive home. Finished up work, had dinner with my mom and my sister because my dad was at a work conference. So it was just like really nice girl time. I think that was the first time that my mom, my sister and I had like a long amount of quality time since my mom came back from Korea because if you guys know she was away for I think like three and a half months it was really nice and 
No, I'm awake. The boys are here. Hi! Bye! Let's go eat. Boys, hi! Hi! Hi. Oh, hello! Oh my goodness. four o'clock right now which is crazy i feel like this vlog has kind of become a little bit out of routine because i'm home today but i'm going home tonight after dinner and then i really want to talk to you guys tomorrow thursday about just like 2023 at work how 2023 has really changed me and i think i'm going to make a lot of my january content about things that i've really implemented in the whole year of 2023 that can help you or hopefully inspire you in 2024 so stay tuned for that but i feel like it's always just crazy when i go home like for something like this where i need to have a camera in front of my face like talk to you guys be present with you that's literally impossible when i'm at my family house like i can only do this right now because my mom's upstairs my dad's not home from work my sister went home so it's it's a little bit less chaotic but in hindsight i'm actually really happy to show you guys a little bit of my family in work to live diaries for the last week work week of 2023 my family is so important to me and i feel like having a supportive family at all is not only a privilege and something i should be extremely grateful for but something that truly i think was part of my support system for how i really got through 2023 and put myself in a place of success and happiness and good health so my family really means a lot to me and i wouldn't be here today without their support especially my mom and dad and i didn't i don't think my dad was on this vlog at all sorry dad <laughs> but he was at a work conference so he wasn't here for dinner but i promise we will talk a little bit more about 2023 tomorrow <laughs> Cold water. Yeah, so you could drink it. And you could put actually some. Um, oh, honey. Honey. Or just. To make it taste better. Right. Hong Tom is so bitter. I know. It's the root. It's the root. What happened to those packs of like the liquid that you had? Those, but those are definitely. Oh, that's so good. It's really I nice. love soup. Good but... Good morning guys. Happy Thursday. I decided that this is the last day I'm going to vlog so that I can actually take some time to decompress tomorrow and start off my holiday break on a good note. I, spoiler, I'm actually going to New York tomorrow and I'm going like really, really early in the morning. As soon as I'm on the train at like five, I'm going to start working so that I can kind of work a full day by like one or something so it's gonna be really crazy it's like eight o'clock right now i literally just woke up i missed my orange theory class i'm so mad i like signed up for orange theory first time going since being sick and of course i slept in so i think i'm going to sign on to work a little bit early and try my best to go to an afternoon class at orange theory which is like really not ideal but it's just gonna be my only option now i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit this morning because i feel like i've been talking about it all week and really just reflecting with you guys on 2023 and work to live diaries in general 2023 has just changed my life and really for the better if I look back on the very beginning of the year or maybe like the end of 2022 last year was really bad for me I feel like mentally I struggled the most last year than I have almost ever in my life like all my best friends moved away from Arlington Thomas was starting medical school and I didn't really know how to navigate that huge change in our relationship we were moving in together which was amazing but there was just so much change in 2022 that i feel like it all just kind of hit me by storm and i did not react well to it some of it was good change some of it was bad change and some of it just was a lot to take in at all and i spent all of last year unhappy unfulfilled and just sad like talking about it in therapy all this stuff and i really set out 2023 to be the year that i like get back to myself be my best self feel the best that i've ever felt about myself physically professionally personally in all these different ways and i feel like i hate to be that person because no one really loves what i'm about to say but i actually feel like i accomplished all of my goals this year i feel like i really worked on myself really was intentional about setting myself up for success whether it was planning out my content every month or being a little bit more aware about my social plans through having a calendar or allowing myself the priority of sleeping seven to eight hours on average
average, you know, like trying my best on a regular basis, I feel like 2023 is the year that I found myself again. I got back into running and it has become a whole new passion of mine that I've never really had since high school. I'm making new friends because of it. I feel so good about myself when I do run and I just love how running makes me feel. One year later, I've run two half marathons, signed up for a second one, signed up for this huge long race where I'm gonna run from LA to Vegas with the team. And I feel really good about my relationship with Thomas. I feel really good about where I'm at with my friends. I feel really good about how I myself am approaching friendship and I just like I don't know I feel like I'm actually getting emotional like thinking about this but I really worked really hard on myself in 2023 and I feel like at the end of the year it shows good morning good morning I've got doggy too good morning and I wanna give you guys just a piece of advice that no one really asked for, but it's just something that I wanna remember as I reflect on this huge year for me. The only advice I really have is that you just have to kind of know what you need and not settle for less anymore. I feel like last year I was just in like doomsday all the time because I was like, I wasn't planning anything in my life. I wasn't like setting myself up to have good days at all. I felt like I was waking up with a bad mindset, telling myself that all of my friends moving was terrible. And I was like refusing to see the good and refusing to like support myself almost. So if there's a piece of advice that I have or just something that I wish I could have told myself a year ago, it's that, it's that I can give myself the support that I need and whatever I feel like I'm lacking I can give that to myself and it will be so rewarding one year later when you've really chosen yourself this year giving yourself the tools to be successful in the ways that you feel like you weren't or you couldn't have been before honestly doing the plan with me series for all of 2023 that really helped me so much professionally it helped me be on top of my content it helped me kind of have like a plan for myself whether it was something that was changing or something that i did stick to i just feel like planning actually gave me support i have a really good mix of digital planning and traditional planning using like my bullet journal tracking my moods and habits of course, lightly, like I don't do it 365 days of the year. Like I'm about to literally open up my bullet journal right now and fill it in for the last like five days because that's just kind of what happens. But that's what works for me. And I feel like doing this really allows me to reflect on how I've been doing, how I've been feeling, where I'm at with the stuff that I do hope to do daily because one year later, it feels like these are all actual habits that I have for myself. And, and planning everything with content wise, I feel like has allowed me to give myself the boundary at my work job or not my work job, my office job to be, really strict about nine to five only or eight hours a day of working only and it's just like i feel like i've given myself so much more flexibility and so much more control over how i'm feeling because i've adopted actually planning and i've seen planning as a way of supporting the life that i would like to have and the person i would like to be i feel like i rambled about that way too long i'm sorry but i just really wanted to give you guys like a piece of value in this last vlog for 2023 i started work to live diaries to try my best to show you how you can implement work-life balance but to really hold myself accountable to to remember that my job is not my everything even making youtube videos that's not everything and I think it's so easy to think that our jobs define who we are because they take up so much of our day. But I've just come to realize that setting better boundaries with work, whether it was content or my nine to five job, has really allowed me to feel like I'm working to live a life, not waking up every day to work my jobs. So I feel really good about this year and I really love you guys. If you guys have stuck around through last year, comment below and let me know if you've also seen this like personal growth from me because I feel like it really does show in my content, just like who I am in my voice vlogs compared to last year so i would love to know but also if you guys found me this year i love you so much thank you for subscribing and sticking around and joining the family i didn't really hit my metric goals in 2023 i wanted to be at 50,000 subscribers that was like on my vision board and i didn't hit that i don't really care i feel like i hit so much more than 50,000 subscribers to me that i just genuinely don't care how many subscribers i have at the end of the day and i'm just happy that you guys are here at all and i'm ready for a new year of my nine to five job and youtube and everything and i'm just feeling sappy <laughs> i'm gonna start work i'm gonna actually start work a little bit early today because i felt like i just couldn't get enough done yesterday and like my parents were home and everything so i'm gonna start work early and try to get a lot done i'll talk to you guys a little bit later but have a good day oh my gosh you do do it. good morning It is 5.30, oh my god, 
Why am I working after five? Just kidding. I'm just trying my best to wrap up as much as I can so that when I'm working on the train tomorrow, I'm just like wrapping up the smallest, smallest things and then I can like get on my holiday break early. So trying my best to get like a little bit more time in throughout the week so that it like all kind of adds up to be the same at the end of Friday when I don't know. But I'm just trying my best to get through my to-do list because when I was home, I didn't even use my to-do list at all. So I was like, I can't even like document what I'm doing. So today I had a long to-do list and I'm feeling really good about it. What I love about having my weekly to-do list, this is the one from Ty Paley. I can just rip this off and then take this with me if I don't want to take my whole notepad and then throw it out at the end of the day tomorrow and it'll be like perfect. So it's nice to kind of minimize space in my backpack when I'm already like having things to pack so that I can just finish up my work day with my laptop, this, paper, a pen, and everything. Feeling good, but we should sign off. I think I'm just gonna wrap up one more thing, finish up at around six and then make dinner. And then I have to pack and then I have to edit. <laughs> I have to edit this video. I'm gonna spend my two week break just really kind of regrouping on how I want my scheduling to be for my content. I know I already asked you guys about this, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna think about it some more. But I think that's the end of this video. This video is very chatty, very long, but also very short. And I feel like so much happened in this last work week of 2023. I'm just gonna wrap up tomorrow and I'm gonna make like a separate video, I think tomorrow, depending on how I feel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this last work week of 2023 with me. Comment something right now about like what 2023 was for you at work. Like, are you proud of yourself? Do you feel like there's room for improvement next year? No negative of talk let's just talk about what ways we can improve next year or in what ways 2023 was good to you this year when it came to work and work-life balance and life so i want to talk to you guys or if you just have anything to say about anything else i talked about in this video please let me know thank you again to anna luisa for sponsoring today's video if you guys want to check out all of my pieces give something to yourself gift something to a family member or a loved one this holiday season this is the time to get something from anna luisa because the sale is actually almost ending so you guys have to grab stuff while you can make sure you check out their website and i think that's everything make sure you're subscribed if you're not already i post new videos every tuesdays and fridays again that's changing next year but it's just like my spiel i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video but until then miss you already